Hallo ihr Lieben und willkommen zu einer neuen Folge von Songlines. Weihnachten steht vor der Tür und ich habe ein ganz besonderes Geschenk für euch. Ich habe nämlich die Band Simorelli kurz vor ihrem Konzert in Stuttgart zum Interview getroffen. Und neben meinen Fragen hatte ich natürlich auch wieder eure Fragen mit dabei. Diesmal habt ihr sogar einen neuen Rekord im Fragen einsenden aufgestellt. Über 200 Leute haben mein Instagram-Postfach zum Glühen gebracht. Doch genug Geblabber von mir. Wir fangen an und zwar mit der Frage, wie sie Morelli eigentlich zur Musik gekommen sind. Oh, instrument for me definitely would be um, playing piano like as a really young kid. Like when I was like six, seven, I was obsessed and I would just play it every day. We would like fight over the piano and be like, I get the piano next. Like it was like, I don't know, it was like almost like a computer. Like you're fighting over who gets to go on it. Yeah. And we would be like obsessed with it because our mom played piano. So we all wanted to do that. So for me, like me being a kid, I was obsessed with playing piano. Yeah, same. I feel like playing songs on the piano was how I really started to fall in love with music when I was a kid. You've started this brand project in 2008 and now you have over 3 million followers on YouTube and nearly a billion views. Have you expected to be so successful and how has your life changed? We didn't Ooh. expect it, but we like hoped for it, but we didn't expect it. Our life has changed like incredibly drastically I mean it's we've moved to two different places because of this career like LA and Nashville um, we have fans which is like a totally different lifestyle than if you don't have fans very very different um, our job is not normal job at all we get to travel so much more than most people because of our job which is crazy and um, I don't know I feel like it's changed in almost every way like almost every way it has changed our lives mostly for the better some things not for the better but mostly I think it's changed for the best mm -hmm. In May 2016, you've released your new album, Up at Night, and in December, you're going to publish your new album, Alive. Yes. Uh, two full-length Simorelli albums in one year. So what's the difference between Up at Night and Alive, and why have you decided to publish a new album so soon? Well, Up at Night is a lot of songs about like boys, relationships, and Alive is a lot of songs just about life. And it has, I mean, Up at Night has some songs that are uplifting and hopeful, but <laughs> not very uh, many. <laughs> but Alive has so many more songs, like just positive songs that kind of you can go to when you're in a dark time. And the reason we put out two albums in one year is because we kind of live in a new age where people are constantly consuming things on the internet and we put the music out and then six months later, the fans, I mean, probably one month later, they wanted more. They'd listened to the songs a million times. So we have written so many songs over the years. So we just wanted to put it out as quickly as we could. Besides in your album, you've also written a book with the title Lessons Learned. What kind of lessons do you mean? Oh. Well, basically, <laughs> yeah, basically the way that the book came to be was about a year ago, we sat down and we wanted to put out something for the fans because they come to us all the time and they ask us for advice. So, so many questions. Yeah, and there's so many things like about boys, about family, about your body, like all these different topics. So we sat down and we thought, what do people ask us and what do they want to hear? And we all wrote on different topics and it just came together with like all these stories from like from our hearts, very personal and a lot of advice. So that's basically what the book is. It ended up being really like heartwarming, personal and like really funny. Like some of the stuff some is really funny that they wrote. And then some of us like my stuff's more serious. And then some of them did the really funny things. So Mine's it's cheesy. actually, yeah, so <laughs> it's cheesy. It's like a really cool mix of different like voices that you get to hear in the, in the book. <coughs> You played 15 shows in Europe this month, two more to come. Do you have any ritual before you go on stage? Oh, we drink a lot of water, we, drink we warm up our voices, um, we say a prayer, uh, some people stretch. I stretch. <laughs> I don't know, I think that's it. Don't right? you stretch? No, oh, I, okay. I want to. I stretch because I move a lot. <laughs> If you have to describe each other with one adjective, Which adjective would you choose? Okay, so if I describe Catherine one adjective, I would use um, flowery. Might be kind of a hard one. Um, emotional. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I were to describe Lisa, oof, I would say, um, well, first I was going to say an enigma, like a mystery. But then I was thinking more like maybe bizarre or quirky, something like that. Indescribable. Um... <laughs> 
If I, okay, Amy would be, I'm trying to think of the right word. <sighs> no, let her pick it. That's what I would think. Um, loving. Aw, thank you. I was going to say, okay, for Lauren, there's like a million great ones to use. So I have to like, I, I am her biggest fan. Um, I can't pick. There's so many. So I'll just pick out a few like, you know, genuine, hilarious, caring. One. One. Wow. Thank you. She already did pick she three. Did okay. <laughs> um, Danny, I would just say star. In every star? way, she's just a star. Let's be real. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> um. For Christina, I'm sorry, I'm not going to pick one. It's either fierce or intense. Because everything she does, I'd say intense is maybe more accurate. Because everything she does is like intense. <laughs> so we're nearly at the end right now. So I'm going to ask you the last question. So this show is called Songlines, in other words, Dream Trails. Do you have any dream you definitely want to fulfill? A dream? Yes. Hmm. Well, my dream is to write books. So I really want to write books and publish them, and then I will feel great. My dream to fulfill is to visit every continent, which means I need to go to Antarctica. So I don't know how that's going to happen, but I'm going to. You're doing well on it, though. <laughs> um, my dream is to be in a stable relationship. Oh, I was going to say that! My dream is to have a really beautiful, healthy, happy family where we're all connected and loving. And also, I want to sing a gospel song one day with Kirk Franklin. Okay. Oh. We all want to get married, so I'm not going to mention that as one of my dreams because that's obvious. Um, I want to perform for 10,000 people. My biggest dream, uh, my biggest passion in life is like teaching and coaching people by far. So I guess my biggest dream is to have a giant family and teach them everything like homeschool and then just teach a lot of people throughout my life everything that I have learned that I could possibly teach someone that could help them. Okay, we don't know when we're touring next year and where we're going, but um, I think we're going to make some plans, but we don't have any specifics. But Catherine has a whole list in her mind that, sh that we all agree on, so... We'll see what happens, but we want to go some really good places next year, p places we haven't been, so we'll see. We want our music to inspire people to know that they're not alone ever. Like, we, everyone goes through similar situations, and we want everyone to know that we're feeling everything right along with them, and that they can always reach out for help, and there's always someone who understands them in the world. And what inspired us to write songs, it's all different. It's all just emotions. Pent up Lauren's old, original artwork was, you know, inspired by Christina's life when you were like eight. You're like, oh, I gotta write all these songs. Lauren's been writing songs forever. But that, basically all our songs are in, like inspired by our lives. Uh, my favorite song from live is probably, just gonna say, Worth the Fight. Greatest experience was um, connecting with fans and hearing their stories of how something that I've done has helped them directly. The most fulfilling thing like in my life, basically. Um, my favorite song to perform is probably You're Worth It. And my favorite moment is um, looking into the fans' eyes during the songs and connecting with them. My favorite song to perform is Up at Night. And my favorite moment during this tour was actually probably seeing the Eiffel Tower because it was just so iconic. <laughs> um, I would say my favorite song to perform is either You're Worth the Fight or you're, you're, I almost said You're Worth the Fight. No, You're Worth It or um, One More Night. Those two make me cry in my heart. Sometimes not like physically, but always in my heart. And they just, they mean so much and I can feel it. Like I get those songs make me feel everyone coming together. So I love them. Favorite moment is everyone coming together. Okay. <laughs> My favorite to perform is Acid Rain. And yeah. a good moment that was really good was in Madrid when we performed it. I could just feel everyone as soon as that song started, like really feeling it. It was really intense. So I really liked that. My favorite song to perform is Before October's Gone. And my favorite moment is Every Time I Cry on Stage. Yes! I love crying. <laughs> Good question. Um, yeah, we definitely have a unique sibling relationship, almost like we're all twins, but we're not. Kind of weird, but good. And um, I think 
we've all thought of leaving the band at one point probably, but never like, I'm going to leave the band. And um, we created a normal life for ourselves where we now live in Tennessee. Uh, we didn't have a normal life in LA. So we have normal lives and then we leave and then we have crazy lives. So kind of cool. Um, well, the production of the album and book was very, yeah, first of all, we had a new producer on the album. So it's a different sound, like very different than the last one. Yeah, I think it's a really cool sound. I'm excited for everyone to hear that. Um, the book, well, first of all, I edited it. So I don't know if everyone knows that. So now she's a book editor. Now I'm a book editor. So hopefully there aren't too many typos. There aren't. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> we have experience. But I like to think that us experiencing the dark side of show business helped us to appreciate the light side and it made us stronger and it made us appreciate things more and like really what the meaning of performance and of fan relationship it is. It made us like change direction and see everything we didn't want to be and we didn't want out of that career so it helped us. I would have everyone come together in peace and unity. That's what I would change. I would say no more criticism and negativity. Everyone would just be nice. Yes, <laughs> yes I would say more universal respect for each other, especially those who are different. I would get rid of insecurity because I believe insecurity is the root of every problem. So if you got rid of insecurity, then like most problems would go away. True. <clears throat> oh. I was going to say almost the same thing as Lisa. I would, um, I don't know how you do this. I would get rid of in everyone's minds so that they wouldn't see um, themselves in a weird way that they're not. So people would see how beautiful they are instead of seeing themselves as an ugly thing that they're not. I think I would, this might be sort of trifling, but I think I would create an open political discussion so that people could discuss politics while still being respectful and kind and not <laughs> yelling at other people. That would be nice. Yeah, we inspire each other when we write songs. It was my, well actually it was kind of my mom's idea for the band and I was like, eh, I'm stupid. <laughs> and then we started and I was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. Uh, my favorite celebrity, there's a lot, I'll have to say Tim Tebow, favorite food, what's my favorite food? Bananas. Um, Disney Channel show. That's so Raven. No, Hannah Montana. Oh my gosh. Um, favorite emoji is um, hard eyes, probably. Bible verse. Fear not, only believe. Ma it's like Matthew something. My favorite celebrity is Oprah. My favorite food is artichokes. My favorite Disney Channel show is uh, Even Stevens. My favorite emoji is the purple heart. My favorite Bible verse is... Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. Um, favorite celebrity is Alan Iverson. Food is pizza, Disney Channel show, uh, Hannah Montana. Emoji, the, the two little pink hearts probably. And I don't have a favorite Bible verse. I just like the whole Bible. <laughs> okay, my favorite celebrity is Jesus. Um, food is... Tacos. Favorite Disney Channel show is Lizzie McGuire or even Stevens. My favorite emoji is the American flag or the laughing, crying, or the heart. And my favorite Bible verse, I, I might have this one wrong, but I think it's Mark 11:24, which is like when you ask for something and praise, if you're going to receive it, you will receive it. So, Celeb, Justin Bieber, the food, pasta, Disney Channel show, Hannah Montana, emoji, the eye rolling one. Bible verse, um, I don't know what number it is, but I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Um, celebrity, Alex Turner from the Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> I just said the Arctic Monkeys, I'm sorry, Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> Favorite food is probably chicken enchiladas with guacamole. Uh, Disney Channel show, Live in Maddie. Emoji, what? shh. Emoji, oh gosh, I can't pick one, but I'm just gonna be really like not basic and say the hundred thing. Um, and then Bible verse, I don't remember what how it goes, but I know that it's Joshua 1 9. Oh, that's good. I would be Michael Jordan because he can jump like 15 feet into the air. How would that be? And what's the other one? Animal? I would be a eagle, an, an eagle, so I can fly. Um, anytime living, I'm just gonna say um, Napoleon Hill is who I want to be. He got to, he, to interview like all my idols. Probably no one knows what I'm talking about. And I would obviously be a lion, duh. I would be my favorite author, Shauna Nequist, because I want to see what it's like to get to 
be married, have a family, and be a writer, because that's basically all my dreams. And I would be a dolphin, because I feel it could be fun to soar through the ocean. I would either be, okay, I'd be whoever the president is, like, you know, I just want to know what's going on. Like, doesn't have to be a specific one. I just want to know what's really happening. Or I'd be like one of the apostles, someone who like met Jesus and like got to like be like, yo, what's up? I would like that. Or and an animal, I would be a dolphin. Um, I would be Bob Ross. Hi, guys. He, <laughs> he's really cool and he does good painting. Yes. And an animal. I don't. I'd be like a lion or something that's like the top of the food chain. I'm not trying to get killed. Ooh, you're right. All right, I have three options. I'd either be, um, oh my gosh. Oh, I'd either be George Bush, Khloe what? Kardashian, or Oprah, and then give all of her money to myself. <laughs> and then animal, I'd probably be like a baboon. You couldn't give or it like, to yourself. Or like an orangutan. Her. No, I'd, I'd give it to Danny Zimarelli. <laughs> if I was Oprah, I'd give all my money to Danny Zimarelli because he changed back, and then I'd be rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Beautiful, Danny. Thank you. One word to describe our fans would be amazing yeah. or incredible. And the weirdest thing, um, I mean, people have given me like really old used clothing. Uh, it's kind of weird. Used yeah. Pencils with bite marks. Yeah, used pencils with bite marks. <laughs> Rubber chickens. Yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff. All right, Italy, and I would live in Switzerland. Um, Ireland was my favorite one on this. Uh, I don't know. I can't live outside the U.S. <laughs> um, my favorite country visited is Italy <clears throat> or Ireland. And if I had to live outside the U.S., I'd live in Scotland or Ireland. That's where I'd live. Yeah, Scotland was my favorite. I don't know why I loved it so much, but I did. And I would live in Scotland. <laughs> my favorite was Italy, and I would live in um, Ireland. Italy's my favorite. They're all great, though. I <laughs> I don't know where I live. Wherever has like the most um, freedom. Don't know where that is though. I haven't studied enough. I have no idea. Future plans. More music will be released. A lot more originals. Uh, we'll still do covers, so both. Um, more videos, different kinds of videos. I have some really weird ideas for videos coming up. Um, new projects that are random and different. Uh, touring. Changes. Interesting things. Different things. 2017. It'll be good. Wie lange bist du schon Fan von Simorelli? Um, schon eigentlich sehr lange, eigentlich seit sie angefangen haben. Oh, I'm uh, like five years ago. Seit Anfang an? Seit 2012. Ja, ich seit Ende 2011, als sie ihr Album veröffentlicht haben. Since their first cover on YouTube. Since 2012. Seit 2011. Und was gefällt dir so am meisten an ihnen? Eigentlich kann man nicht sagen, ich mag genau das an ihnen, weil sie sind einfach... Es ist einfach das Gesamtpaket an ihnen. Everything, they are inspired the music. The lyrics is so good. Die sind so bodenständig und ich kann mich so mit ihnen vergleichen, weil die genauso dumm, verrückt sind wie ich. Also für mich ist vor allem die Ehrlichkeit für ihn so wichtig, weil ich finde, also in der Musikindustrie gibt es viele Menschen, die oberflächlich sind. Und bei ihnen ist es halt so, dass sie immer sehr ehrliche Antworten geben, auch sagen, wenn es ihnen schlecht geht. Und das drücken sie halt in ihren Songs aus. They're all so down to earth, like they're just normal people. Mir gefällt ihre Art total. Ja, ich finde, die sind halt total anders als andere Stars. Ich finde es einfach gut, was die mit ihren Songs rüberbringen und die helfen ja auch vielen Menschen damit. Und was ist euer absolutes Lieblingslied? Um, worth the fight. I think worth the fight. Also für mich wird es immer Wings bleiben, <lacht> egal welches Lied sie veröffentlichen. It's on fire and all, all of them. I hear the, the songs in the car every day. What makes you beautiful? Cover from One Direction and Fallback from Neuen Album. I love it. Good guys. It's, jedes Lied is eigentlich a Meisterwerk. You're worth it. I like Renegades. Zum Beispiel Acid Rain oder generell das neue Album. I mag auf jeden Fall the way we live. So is this your first Simorelli concert? Yeah, <laughs> we fly all the way just, just for them. And you're from France? Yes, I'm from France. And you come from Scotland. You travel so long to come here for the concert in Germany. Yeah, I went to the one in Glasgow and then I got home from Glasgow and booked this straight away because I loved it so much.